this is going to be a tutorial for Taeyeon's song Circus, uh, the chords that I use in the song. Basically, the intro, you're going to put a capo on the very first fret, okay? First fret. You're just going to make an A minor shape, alright? So, one, two, three. Basically, one finger here, one here, one here. And you're also going to throw your pinky right there, okay? So, it's going to sound like... But you're going to throw this here. Right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to switch these two. You're going to move this finger down here and put this one up here. So it's going to be here, here, and here. Essentially it's A minor shape, F, C, G. But you're going to leave your pinky here the whole time. So it's going to be a to a C. You just move these two up. This one there, and then this one up here, so. To a G. And a G is just going to be a normal G. So it's going to be like. have that with the piano doing that lead thing behind it. Does it three times and then it goes doo 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 a D minor seventh shape. You're gonna have one here and these two here. To an A minor to a G. You wanna make sure you kinda end with this note. The B, okay? So you're just gonna start like this. Make sure you take that finger off. Because otherwise you're playing that sustained, so. It's gonna sound like that on the intro, okay? Now, I just picked it. Just something like that. I stayed out of the intro actually on the cover. Uh, so when I, when I did my cover, I didn't even play on the intro part because it sounds pretty with just the piano. But basically those are the chords you're going to play in the intro. Uh, and then, and that's pretty much the same as the chorus. Uh, that's what the intro is. When you go to the verse, you're going to start on A minor, the A minor shape, okay? So you can kind of just strum it. If you're going to pick it, just do. Those two notes there, but just... To a C, to an E minor seventh, because it's and then it goes to this note, that picking pattern. All right, to a G. All right. So. E minor 7 G Alright, and then it does that And when I start strumming I do a So Also played an E minor seventh like this. If you want to play it like this to give it a little bit of a different sound, you're gonna bar. Uh, you don't have to bar every string. Technically, you can just bar these four, the bottom four on. Bar all those on the second fret from the capo. Okay. You're gonna put this finger here and this one here, so it's gonna sound. And you're gonna put this finger. Up on the fourth fret. These two on the third, this one on the second. 
Now if you want, you can also bar the A string and play all of them and hit the top at the same time. So it's all the same thing. Uh, it's just another way of playing it. Anyways, those are the chords that are playing good in the verse. So the verse is going to sound like this. A minor 7, G, A minor, C, you know, E minor 7, G, go to that strumming. goes to the pre-chorus, it's going to go to an F, to an A minor, so, so now I just played a normal F, to a C, and basically it's, you're hitting the C and then like a C sus, now I, I go back to a C, but the note or whatever is doing like a, if you just go back to a C, you're going to hit that open string, which is the same as this. So. Back to that C, C sus, C, F, A minor, B over G, C, and then I play this D uh, dominant 7 chord or whatever to a G. So, and then the way I strum it is, uh, let me go from the, let me start from the, the verse. To do like a C sustained, okay, you can, if you did it here, like barred it, you would be barring the third fret, you would have these three fingers there, well, this finger on the three strings or those three, and then you would have a one up, but if you want to play it here, all you got to do is just throw your pinky on the string underneath the C note, okay? Now, it's not actually a C note, I'm just saying this is a C chord. Because remember, there's a capo there. A minor, C, C sus, C, F, A minor, C. And you hit that B. So I do it. Just, and basically it's like making a G shape but you're not playing the G note you're just playing from this note down so if you make a G shape you just put one finger here and one on the note on the bottom to a C to a D uh, 7 so basically that's like playing a D shape here a normal D chord but you're just inverting it so instead of you're just switching it around so instead of a finger being like these two on this you know, above each other, and this one in front, you need it in the back. So use these two fingers to hold down this string and this one, and put this one on the first, okay? It's a G, so.
stay on that G. Then it goes back to the intro. Now all I do there is I just... And I'm just... Remember, it does it three times. So the D, D minor seventh, A minor. This time it's F. Then it does it again. D minor seventh, A minor G. Da, 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 da. Instrumental is the same as the verse. Now the bridge. I'm gonna. I'm showing you each part, and then I'm gonna show you, you know, all of it thrown together, uh, just like in the cover. Uh, the bridge is actually the same thing as the pre-chorus. You're just doing the same pattern, except you're staying on that one particular pattern a little longer. So it's just. it four times then it goes to the normal pre-chorus I mean it is the bridge but so technically it does the same thing six times then it goes just like it does on that right before the chorus then it goes soft again And then it just stops. So it's gonna sound like this. Back to that instrument. Just like I showed you in there, strumming. All you gotta do is this. Or, I hit the wrong chord. It's just kind of like this, but... back of your palm to kind of give it more of that feeling. And it goes to that instrumental, it's just like the pre chorus. Oh, 
that's right. The last time it does it once. I forgot about that. Yeah, so it, every time it does that, it does it three times. And then it does that little outro. Uh, but the last chorus, I forgot about that. It just does it once. Back to that D minor 7th. A minor, F, and D minor 7th, A minor, G. Do, 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 and it ends. Uh, the only time it does the D minor 7th, A minor, straight to the G without doing the F part first is the very first time, uh, before the first verse, when it just does that opening instrumental. So, those are the chords I used in the song, and hopefully that helped. Uh, as far as the rhythm goes, it... I mean, you just got to feel it, uh, and if you can, like I, I do with a lot of songs, just to kind of give it more like a rhythm thing, instead of just like this, and just like, you know, use your the back of your wrist to kind of mute stuff, and just... like that or something like that because it just kind of gives it more of a if you kind of give it a lot of that that muted effect or or like like cutting this stuff out or whatever a difference so anyways i uh, hope you guys have a nice day and uh, let me know if any of the other songs you need me to give a tutorial on like i said i'm not the best at tutorials i just have fun doing covers but uh, i do like trying to, to help people learn songs and i just it's just a big hobby of mine i really like listening to music and i like trying to throw stuff together uh, so uh, let me know what else to try to cover and i'll try to work on some of them I uh, hope you guys have a nice day.